All right. Well, welcome back to the third run. This should hopefully be the end of it. Oh yeah, fucking actually. <laughs> Reload to the right save. I'm not entirely sure what save that is, but I think it's save four. I'll find out the hard way in a second when this is the wrong place. No, this is the one. Yeah. So we'll deal with uh, medicine run. And then we'll grab uh, the survivor from Hatchet Man. Because fortunately, this time I can actually afford to save all of them rather than having to <laughs> kill them. I'll admit that as much as I I love this game, really just honestly can't wait for this to be done. Really, I've really enjoyed playing through this, and honestly, I'm happy that I've actually finally decided to go for this 100% because I've really fucking wanted it for a long time. Yeah, sorry, you'll. I oddly noticed that I'm back at the save. Uh, I ended up dying because I had to alt tab to fix the fact that my microphone keeps cutting out now for some reason. This is a new problem for me, but one I think I've fixed. So I'll be back once I've dealt with Steven. Oh my god, I'm actually done. Okay, so I completely forgot that I had already dealt with Steven. And I just needed to give Jesse the medicine. <laughs> Fuck me. God, I'm an idiot. Right, then I get us off to deal with Cliff again. This is the, I think, fourth time I've killed Cliff. I don't think I've once actually recorded it. Right, well, let's murder Cliff in about three seconds, because that's how most of these fights have gone. I'm gonna have went right for him that time. And he's dead. And that's how you kill Cliff. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I'll be the coward. Yep. So we'll save him. I do like that you can only hate them go so far because of the like it's almost like there's like an invisible wall where nothing kind of really exists until you get close to it what are we doing come on gordon get your ass up listen to me you little shit barbara appears to be getting cyber bullied come on gordon i need you hurry the fuck up oh my god gordon please can you guys just like you know push them like he's always fucking doing and just not to can you just do it the one time i need you to no they just they just sit there and get their asses beat the whole time. Gordon, really? You have to be different. See, Gordon, see where being different gets you? It gets you dead. Yeah, that's the message I want to send. Don't be unique. Be like everybody else. Oh my god, the little is just... Fine, come with me then. I don't care. As long as you aren't just standing still getting your asses kicked. Oh fuck, of course. About 8 million zombies spawned between them and me. So why would I get lucky and just not have the game spawn more? I really can't use the fucking chainsaws around Gordon. I will kill him. Yeah, yeah, we'll deal with that. That's the thing. Oh my god. Just move. One of you just jump up. Is that close enough for them to count? Do they just come with me if I go in now? No. Not even a little. Whoever decided to have this little lip here? You're the worst game designer in history, and you should perish. That almost went badly. I'll actually grab Ronald this time, the one survivor I needed for transmission area last time that I completely missed this time. I completely missed this time. Missed last time. Man, I wish I could speak English. What time is it that full challenge starts? Is it 12? Yeah, I might as well fucking deal with him while I'm here. I mean, I should probably chill till 1 so I can get the survivors hanging off the rabbit in Wonderland. Come on, big boy. As much as food's important, I feel like he, uh, maybe cares too much. I get that that's the, the joke, probably the Japanese making fun of the Americans somehow, but actually, there's no reason for me to come all the way down here, because when Kent spawns, he'll fucking teleport me up there anyway. Because he's an asshole. I don't know, I have just realised I completely forgot to take a, a photo of Cliff. Shit. Ah, well, to, uh, I actually looked into it. And, uh, apparently there's 12 psychopaths that count for the achievement, so I can afford to miss two. There you go, Kent, my boy. Hate you very much. Probably could have just taken Ron Ronald back to the safest, but actually, fuck it. Probably waste less time to just go and deal with Joe now. Yeah, the survivors that she has back here. Oh god, I, for I forget the cameras in the game half the time. I feel like there should have been more importance to the whole camera. It kind of, you know, being one of the game's 
So our big draws, I guess. I feel like they really didn't use it enough. There you go, there's a full wood deal. And she's dead. Yeah, the boss fights in this game are very easy, apparently. And she drops, like, the worst weapon of all the psychopaths in the game. Like, the taser just is not particularly good. Of course, Ronald went that way. And that's all five of them, yep. And I think the Turai will probably be here, yep. I think they're called the Turai. I may be making that part up. Come on, Jennifer. Save the two hanging from the rabbit, and then take all of them back to the safe house. Just put a bullet in his leg. Can't get him to follow me. Really, move, please. Ow, that really did a lot of damage to her. Jesus. Get stuck on this. The worst designed fucking thing in the game. Oh my god, can the little use just work this out and jump, please? Right. There we go. I don't know if that negates fall damage, but if it does, it should probably be an amusing time more often. <laughs> just got stuck casually. Wow, this place is fucking empty now that I don't have any fucking survivors with me. What the fuck? Right, so I know that. Right, I know she apparently doesn't actually count towards the psychopath photos achievement, but I'm gonna take that just in case. I hate how well she turns on that bike, and she's dead. <laughs> Man, the Mega Buster really does just make short work of everything. And now we can just chill the fuck out. More downtime. Yay. I hate when this game gives you downtime. As much as it's a generally stressful experience having to play this game. It's just, it's so fucking boring having to just sit here and do nothing. I placed a couple of chairs and now they just are completely incapable of getting inside. Listen, if the humans can't work out how to get through that barricade, it's zombie proof. Hey! They slapped my chairs. Okay, so the zombies are actually the ones capable of breaking through that. Okay, so the true eye can, the zombies can. These guys still aren't back. I feel like it's been quite a while. Uh, that should... Uh, that should be... That pops just before the sniper family, I think. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, let's go deal with them. And remember to take their photos, because these guys actually count for the challenge. Alright. There goes, all three of them. I wish you could aim and move at the same time, but... There you go, well them's dead. Already. And they're dead. And then this guy has the longest fucking conversation in the whole fucking game. <laughs> this man unironically just called me a whippersnapper. Don't know how to feel about that. Everyone keeps talking, like, all the older characters seem to talk to Frank like he's young. He doesn't, I don't feel like he's that young. He's an experienced enough reporter to have covered wars. He's probably at least in his mid-thirties. People call him a whippersnapper, he's not. It's not like a fucking 18 year old. Suck Wayne. Right, go for his head over there. Oh yeah, she has a friend. Oh my god, I'm actually the worst at video games. There never has been and never will be a worse gamer than me. That is a fact. I should hopefully be the easiest escort of the game because I can just take them straight to the security room through the Paradise Plaza opening. Thank fuck. They open that for you to make life easier, and then you get to use it once. Oh my god, there's so many fucking zombies in here this time now. Now I need to remember not to leave the safe house immediately. Watch me still do it. Just to get out of force a habit. Ronald is there. And that's it. That's all he wanted. One entire jug of orange juice, and that's it. He's happy. Ronald is a simple man. I wish I was able to see how much durability was left on them, but... Right oh, we've got a whopping load of bugger all to do for a while again. My god, the lights are out. I can't say that thing. <laughs> Thought about that for a second. Popped in my head the instant the lights turned out, I say that and I'm getting cancelled. This is a good vine though. God I miss vine. I say I look back at a lot of the looking back on vine, a lot of the older vines were really quite cringe. They weren't really that good. There's a few gems in there, but and it fucking you know, completely shaped the fucking humour of a generation pretty much. But I think we can all agree that Vine made Logan Paul famous and that's 
That's not a good thing. Mere moments away from actually having something to do. I can't remember if Lux calls you before you uh, go to this mission though, so I'm waiting outside. He did. Thank fuck. Hey, I'm still alive. What? Oh, it's Kendall. But yeah, I'll literally be getting these two back to the safe house and then coming straight back here for the survivors in the gun store. Uh, which will get an achievement actually, it should be the last three survivors I need for the notebook. Oh my god, he is so fucking close to death. I'm pretty sure it was exactly the same last time he ended up almost being dead when I got him back. Oh thank Christ. Okay. Man, you saved my life. No, oh, give me that back. I feel like I might not have the, the time to do everything I want to here. Fuck it, we're gonna go and save before I attempt any of this. Should have just saved in the safe house, but I'm not that smart. Hey, they're finally back. I say that like it's a good thing. It's really fucking not. I hate it. Oh, I'm actually like, just stuck. Like, I can't move. Yeah, I'm alive, assholes. Right. Shut up, woman. I mean, I have got that shit. Why won't it let me show him the photo that I have? Reload my save. And head back up and see if I can take another photo of the Oh my god, let me turn around. I can't get out because I can't fucking turn around. Yeah, my right. you assholes. So do I need to go and get the picture like fresh now? I swear to god, I remember I'm just accepting the photo that I had. I don't know if it's uh, if it's maybe because I took the photo on a different run. I don't know if I did take it a different run, though. I swear I took it on this one. Yeah, well, that's a uh, full set unlock, though. That's uh, all the survivors in the notebook. I really hope they don't just, like, despawn or something. Because that would be very fucking annoying. I don't know, I would just have to reload the save, go up and get the photo, and then go back for them, but... Fantastic. Yeah, I hadn't photographed it in this run, so... I'm assuming that's what it was. And we'll go and give um, whatever his face is some wine. I do like that he thinks Thanks. one bottle of wine is going to do everybody that I've saved. There's a lot of survivors in there. Right. Now on to deal with Sean and the cult. It'll be nice to finally be rid of them. I think Alyssa is stuck, maybe? Which is very annoying, but it is what it is. Follow me. I think she's trying to follow one of them, and that's why she's stuck. Rather than jumping the counter to get to me, she's trying to jump the counter to get to one of them, I think. She's still just stuck. Come on, work it out, please. Fucking Jesus, that took her a while to work out. I know for a fact she's going to get herself fucking stuck. Or she's going to get grabbed at least. Is she actually stuck again? Oh my god, are you actually having a laugh? Is she stuck again? What is she fucking doing now? Where is she stuck? Oh my god! It has, it has taken her about five minutes just to get out of the store. You can see now why Jonathan lost his temper with her. Oh my god, Alyssa is so fucking slow. Immediately just start running that way. Um, why did Jonathan go that way? He chose every wrong move. How to instantly go and save because I do not have any faith in any of these survivors. Hi, Sean. Nice. I like that the fire was still moving in the background of that pole. <laughs> or was that just me? Did I just make that part up? I swear that the fire was still moving. Wait, all of you go over there. Well, I was right to save, because they proceeded to instantly get themselves killed. Saw that coming from a mile away. To be fair, I knew, I was thinking to myself, I knew it was going to be that exact moment they got them killed as well. I knew they were going to get stuck at that door. Over there. No, don't come over here, Brett. Oh my fucking god. They are not making this easy on me. Yeah, I feel like if they're all, like, at the door when I activate this, they'll hopefully come in just after me. I don't know why I bothered using a melee weapon. Don't fight them, just move. Oh my god. Right, new plan. 
I'm going to tell them to stay as far away as possible. In fact, I'm going to tell them to stay over there. there. So that I have as much time to go out and deal with those as possible. Don't know why I didn't think of that, but I didn't. I know why I didn't. I'm dumb, but fuck you. So I just need you to die. Thanks, bro. Same that one. <laughs> Because Jonathan just keeps shooting Brett, which is not good, but I don't know why they're... I oh, don't know why these three in particular seem to have the most broken AI of, like, any fucking survivors in the whole game. Yeah, I wish the ones that had guns would prove to be a bit more useful than they are, but... Michelle is stuck on a potted plant. That does not surprise me. Yeah, I, need to, I do need to be quite careful with the guys with guns, though, because they will probably fucking kill each other. That swarm spawned behind me. Like, I do wish the spawns for the zombies were better. Like, I wish they didn't respawn so quickly and so close to you. But I get that there's probably a reason for every decision in this game, but some of them don't feel particularly well thought out, I guess. And one of them, one of them always gets stuck on a potted plant. It always happens. <laughs> every fucking time. How didn't you save them? There was this fucking plant. Hey, Brett actually helps me there, for once. Get a save while I'm here. That's another psycho. Good thing as well, I'm heading to Wonderland Plaza. Hey, there you go. I don't have to worry about the psychos anymore. I like that he pulls a molotov and throws pipe bombs. That makes a significant amount of sense to me. Hey, look, I'm all fucking empty now. Yeah, that's where we go. See if we get to the end of this run and I fail transmission area. I'm actually going to be a bit pissed. Very difficult to tell what call you've missed. If you fail a survivor or honestly don't take full of cycles like I kept doing, you know. But if you've failed transmission area, you probably have no idea. Like, there's no way for you to tell that you've missed anything until you get to the end of the playthrough and that's it. Don't get it. Had that happen to me twice. Can you tell me that like two seconds ago? Oh wait, I know there's another unmarked survivor. See, uh, I found her the last time I was going for this guy. It's an old woman on a, on the football in Wonderland Plaza who I just found completely by accident. Hello. There she is. Yeah, because she's not she's not exactly hidden. Yeah, everyone like everyone really likes calling Frank Young. Yeah, though, I don't like the the survivors that you have to hold hands with. Like I'd rather just have to carry them because. For whatever reason, holding hands, like, sometimes it just, like, it just breaks your grip out of nowhere. Like, sometimes it makes sense, you get grabbed or you get hit or she gets stuck on something, but sometimes your grip just slips. And it's a real pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, Leroy. And that's them, do What are you doing? Okay. I guess still haven't cleaned up his corpse. It's been hours. And obviously it's not going to clear up until the next mission, but I feel like they could have... <laughs> Done something about that. I don't think there's actually anything else that pops up before last resort starts. And then once last resort starts, I've got to just spend an hour in here until Kent's mission starts. Because if you come to Kent's mission late, uh, you fail to save a survivor. I didn't know he did that. It's pretty neat. Kind of like that shit. I'm just about there. Finally, something to do. I say that. It's going to start this. And then I'm going to have to just chill for an hour until I can start uh, Photographer's Pride.